A story sparking outrage overseas. A man considered a hero by Americans has been proclaimed a traitor in Pakistan. He is the Pakistani doctor who put his life on the line to help the CIA hunt down Osama bin Laden. And now he faces 33 years in prison in Pakistan, even though the U.S. sends Pakistan so many billion dollars of aid every year. American officials are angry and speaking out. And here's ABC's Mohammed Leela. To many Americans, he's a hero, the man who helped find Osama bin Laden. But tonight, Pakistani doctor Shaquille Afridi is heading to prison. I think what the PACs have done is, is despicable and is as ghoulish in their hatred as anything that I've ever witnessed. Working with the CIA, Dr. Afridi ran a fake vaccination program around bin Laden's hideout, collecting DNA samples from family members to establish if bin Laden was inside. He passed key intelligence to the United States, and for that, Pakistan charged him with spying. For months, U.S. officials have been calling for his release. His work on behalf of uh, the effort to take down uh, bin Laden was in Pakistan's interests, uh, as well as the United States' interests. But Pakistan says Afridi is a traitor, and today sentenced him to 33 years behind bars. This action is unconscionable. This man is really an international hero. They should be erecting statues to him. In fact, ever since that daring night raid last May, Pakistani officials have quietly erased any trace that bin Laden was ever here. Just over two months ago, Pakistani authorities moved in with bulldozers, demolishing the entire compound. Even though there is no physical evidence that Osama bin Laden once lived here, there are still serious questions that remain. Questions like how bin Laden could live here undetected for seven years, and why Pakistan hasn't arrested a single person who sheltered him. Mohammad Leela, ABC News, Kabul.